Hello and welcome back to The Most of History, your channel for historical facts and vintage photos that will bring to light your most nostalgic memories. From her early years as a singer to today, Linda Carter has always been a stunner, but she's not beautiful without zero brains. She's a thoughtful performer who knows that as the first televised iteration of Wonder Woman, she carries a lot of weight with women all over the world. Carter stated as much while speaking about her decision to take the role in the 70s. She needed the work, but even when she was hungry she knew that if she played Wonder Woman, she would be an idol to young women everywhere, something that she didn't take lightly.
The Girl Can't Help It may have been seen as just a vehicle for Jane Mansfield, but when it was released in 1956, it had the unintended consequence of essentially bringing rock and roll to the world. The film definitely made Mansfield a name, but the score was the star of the film. Featuring Little Richard, Eddie Cochran, and Gene Vincent, when the movie came to the UK it inspired teenagers like John Lennon and Paul McCartney who began working in the rock and roll stylings of Cochran in their skiffle routines. As far as Mansfield, she went on to star in Will's success spoil Rock Hunter in 1957, which was easily the biggest film of her career. You can't just be any old star to get special treatment at Disneyland. Even in 1962, Disney and their theme park were doing well enough to tell actors like Vincent Price to kick rocks if he wanted to get in for free, but not Sophia Loren. One day after she won an Oscar for two women in 1962, she asked to visit Disneyland and the park relented. She spent the day in the park with her attendant going on the rides and checking out the attractions with a trail of photographers following her. According to one worker that day, she was accompanied by her husband Carlo Ponti, an Italian film producer, and rode as many rides as she could, entering through the exit like royalty. Jimi Hendrix was a sonic genius, and even though he only recorded a few albums the genius that's present on each of them is hard to wrap your head around. Each further album is a shift into a new oral land and it's stunning. Even though a lot is going on with the Hendrix albums, he was insistent that he didn't do that much to make the song shine, just lay down what felt right. We've got to the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed our effort of bringing some of these old shots in front of you today. Please leave which one you liked the most in the comments section. And remember that a like and subscribe to our channel will help us to keep creating videos like this for you. See you at the next one.